Hi, I'm Ross Benjamin reporting for the Offshore Gaming Association. That's OSGA.com, your number one source for information on the offshore sportsbook industry. That's OSGA.com. I'm going to take a look at two picks on Sunday's NFL board in which I'm going against public betting trends. Let's start with the game between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints game that we played uh, in New Orleans. I'm going to look at the total in this game, which opened at 50 on Sunday night. Now, a perfect example of what we deem to be reverse line movement in this particular game, and same thing's going to apply to the next game when I get to it. Uh, but let's start with this game. Again, it opened at 50. 56% of the general public bets have gone on going under the total. Despite that disparity in ratio, this total has gone from 50 to 52, which you would think with the majority of bets going on the under, the number would lower instead of, instead of go up two points. But that's not the case. Quite simply put, there's been more money, total money, bet on the over in this game than the under. And putting that in layman's terms, the 44% of the over bets on this contest, the money that was bet on those 44% tickets far exceeded the 56% number of tickets that were bet on the, on the uh, under in this particular instance. So hopefully that's clear to you. If it's not, feel free to write OSGA, uh, contact customer support. I'd be more than willing to, to write something out for you and be a little more defined and clear in that manner if it's not clear already. Now, having said that, this is a Tampa Bay team that's gone over the total in all three of the road games this season, and there's been a combined average of 59.7 points scored per contest in those three outings. And a lot of that has to do with poorest defensive play by Tampa Bay on the road. The Bucks are allowing 34 points and 453 yards per game in away games this year. Uh, they've also allowed 34 points or more in their last three visits to New Orleans. And we know the New Orleans Saints, since Sean Payton has taken over as head coach there, uh, they've been pretty much an explosive offensive unit no different this year. This is a Saints team that's averaging 27 points and 390 yards per game. And also, uh, you're looking at a Saints defense that's statistically very much improved. But most of that has come on the road. At home, they've still been a little shaky. Uh, as a matter of fact, on their home field, three games at home, 28.7 points allowed and over 400 yards per game allowed as well. So, uh, again, they're, they're improved defensively, but a lot of those statistics are, have been tweaked by their stellar play on the road as opposed to at home. I'm going to go over the total in this contest. Take Tampa Bay, New Orleans over 52. The next game we're going to look at is the Cincinnati Bengals traveling down to the state of Florida to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. And boy, oh boy, the Jacksonville Jaguars, nice story here. Four and three, they're coming off their bye week. Uh, right now, they lead the NFL in sacks. They lead the NFL in scoring defense. And they opened on Sunday night as a three-and-a-half point favorite in this game. But despite 60% of individual bets being made on Cincinnati against the spread. This line has moved from three and a half to six, another textbook example of reverse line movement. In Cincinnati, they have won three of their last four games after getting off to a rough 0-3 start. But mind you, two of those three wins have come over the Cleveland Browns and the Indianapolis Colts. Those two teams are com uh, combined two and 14 this season. Now, also, speaking of Indianapolis, Cincinnati barely escaped with that win over the Colts last week. As an 11-point favorite at home, the Bengals nipped the Colts 24-23. So very fortunate in that regard. And we spoke about Jacksonville's defense. Well, Cincinnati's offense has sputtered badly over the last three games. They're averaging just 281 total yards per contest. 
during that course of time. Now, if Jacksonville does have a weakness, it's against the run. They're very good against the pass. As a matter of fact, they're number one in the NFL in that category, but they've been very vulnerable on the ground. The problem is for Cincinnati, they're only averaging 76 yards per game on the ground, which ranks 30th out of 32 teams in the NFL. And mind you, Jacksonville just traded for former uh, all-pro defensive lineman Marcel Darius, who came over this week in a trade, or last week, I should say, in a trade from Buffalo. And uh, those of you who are familiar with Darius know when he's at his best, He's an atypical run stuffer in the middle. He could push the pocket. So that's just going to enhance an already very good defense. And I think Cincinnati will have their hands full in this contest. I'm going to lay the six points with Jacksonville over Cincinnati. Once again, my two anti-public plays, the Tampa Bay and New Orleans game to go over 52. The Jacksonville Jaguars minus six over to Cincinnati Bengals. Be sure to visit my website, that's rbwins.com, where you can get all the games I personally wager on myself, as well as my paying clients uh, receive. That's rbwins.com. You could also call me direct, 781-571-0299. I employ no salespeople. Once again, that's 781-571-0299, and I accept all major credit cards. Until the next time, I'd like to wish you all the best with your picks on Sunday, and we'll talk to you soon.